moved um, from Surrey with my parents um, to Falmouth when I was 15, so I had my last year at school, and then I went to Falmouth College. Every time I would come from Falmouth to Truro, um, it was a place that you just had to take in, you know, the awe of the architecture. And it wasn't until I was about 25 that the, sudden, the penny dropped, really, and I realised this was a Victorian building and, and not something from the 14th century. It took me a few years to appreciate this building. I think you have to be absorbed by its fabric and, and its presence inside to realise that, you know, hey, these things were built for a purpose. They were built to say, look, there is a God, you know, and people would gravitate from miles away. It's, it's basically like Canterbury Cathedral, you know, a great big pilgrimage from across the world, and you could see this cathedral from miles and miles away. That's what they were, symbols of hope, beacons of hope. You look up and you just can't help but gravitate upwards and look towards the heavens, and that's really what these buildings are all about. I'm very proud of this, although I'm an adopted Cornish person, let's say. As a place of worship, I think it is definitely lost with the young. Um, as an iconic building on the landmark, I do think a lot of people appreciate this. It's a place of learning, it's a place of intelligence, it's a place of um, hierarchy, if you will. It's something to aspire to. If you're very young, it's very good to come here and try and absorb some of the things that are here. You can learn an awful lot about where you're from and where you want to go. Mm -hmm.